Uh. Huh. Well, I didn't think I would be making this video. Uh. Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome to, I guess, update 90. Um. Just to clarify, if you did see the video, uh, I think my recorder is working fine now. I don't know. I just have to check a few things, but hopefully it's better now. But we're going to be taking a look at update 90. So here we go. Honey, I shrunk the uh, the heisters. Due to popular demand, we are keeping lab rats available to play after the Halloween event is over. So you can basically have this uh, now and a community event so this is a new mask I kinda it, look, it looks alright looks eh, it looks alright hmm, interesting anyways scroll down here unlock the whatever that says by completing this weekend challenge challenge secure third third 30,000 bags of uh, meth in the lab rat's job within 72 hours. So, yeah, I'm not sure if people want to do that or... I don't know. Anyway, currently no bags have been secured. <laughs> um, introducing Team Boost. Extra XP, extra money. Team Boost is our new feature that has a chance to apply to a weapon skin with an experience and money boost. The team boost benefits the benefits the whole crew with when completing a heist, and it stacks if other players also have a skin with a team boost. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, make sure to check in crew setup for players with team boost applied to their skin. The completely overkill safe. The completely overkill safe and the completely overkill drill are the uh, I don't know, secrets from the completely overkill pack, which was released during the hype train event. The completely overkill safe will come bundled with a completely overkill safe drill that opens the safe. The completely overkill safe is a special safe and will give one to each player that has bought the completely overkill pack regardless of activity which means you can log into the game at any time to receive it a total of 50,000 of these safes will be given out to uh, reflect uh, re the 50,000 copies of the completely overkill safe that were sold safe includes team boost and stat boost What's what's the deal? Completely Overkill Safe contains an exclusive collection of 25 weapon skins. The Completely Overkill uh, Overkill Pack owners are granted a rare, epic, or legendary weapon skin upon opening, which can be used, traded, or sold. You will get one safe and one drill. How do I open it? To open the completely overkill safe, the player n needs to be in the main menu of Payday 2. Open the safe inventory, click on the completely overkill safe, and click open. The completely overkill safe and completely overkill drills are not uh, sellable or tradable. The safe and drill will, will automatically be added to you know, the player's inventory when launching Payday 2. Extra bonus owners of the completely overkill pack today also receive 7 DLCs. Uh, DLC for free. These are automatically added to your library. The DLCs are to the right. Now, the thing is, is that this kind of doesn't make sense to me personally because I I own all of these, right? I own the Western Pack. I own the Gator Salt Pack, the Sniper Pack, the Historical Pack. Or transport, the overkill pack, and the barbecue pack. Now, if they wanted to make this fair, right? If they wanted to make this completely fair, it would have been nice if they set it up where I own the DLCs in my inventory, so then I can give it to friends, right? Well, I'm not sure if that's even a thing. So they gave me 
seven DLCs that I already own. So, yay. Um, safe drop examples. Um, okay. Cool. 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 Dragon Lord. Ah, I don't know. I don't care. Dr Dallas uh, safe. Safe includes team boost. Vlad is grateful to the man who gets the job done, and he made this safe as a tribute to da to as a as a tribute. Dallas theme is a Texan uh, with a touch of a real freedom. Weapon skins in the safe are able to have team boost. This is the epic. The only skin I like in this is this one. And that's really sad. I mean, that one's not too bad, but eh. Time is up. The Crime Fest 2 safe is gone. The Crime Fest 2 safe and drill are removed from the card loot drop after successfully completing a heist. The Crime Fest 2 safe drill and weapon skins are still tradable and usable by players. Change log. Levels. Lab rats. Fix some issues related to collisions. Fix an issue with AI's uh, cover points. Increase the number of spiders on the level. Increase the spider's damage. Fix an issue that could occur when cooking meth. Improve escape helicopters time timers. Time, t yeah. Aftershock fixed an exploit where players could become unreachable for the enemies. Rats day one fixed an issue with bags becoming unreachable for players. Safe house nightmare remove the safe house ni nightmare heist for the contract broker. Masks masks upgraded the look of the. I don't even. I'll have to take a look at that later. Uh, masks remove the Halloween event masks from the card drop loot or the card loot drop weapon. Fix an issue where bows could benefit from acing the Iron Man skill. Weird. Fix an issue where owners of the Gage Ninja Pack DLC couldn't receive one of each mod items for the Gage uh, Ninja Pack DLC weapons. Safes. Safes added uh, the Dallas safe and drill. Players can now receive the Dallas safe and drill from the card uh, the card loot drop after successfully completing a heist. Safes. Remove the Krampus 2 safe and drill. Players no longer receive the Krampus 2 safe or and drill in, or and drill in the game. These items will still be tradable between players. Gameplay. Captain Winter is fixed an issue where the assault wouldn't end even if Captain Winters has been defeated. Other. Lobby. Fix an issue where players could change pose in the inventory if another player in the same lobby changed their loadout. Inventory. Added one of each Halloween pattern to all players in inventory since they were uh, hard to obtain during the Halloween event. Thank you. Windows XP. The fix the fixes from the Windows XP uh, open beta are now live. So, this doesn't make me happy and doesn't make me sad. Uh, I like the mask and the community event. It's a, it's a bit odd, I will say. I mean, it's nothing that we haven't seen, so we should be able to complete that in a couple uh, days, probably. In the 27 hours to get that mask so this though on the other hand it doesn't I don't know I don't think it's <laughs> I don't I honestly don't know how to feel about team boost really um extra XP, extra money. Sure, that's cool, but it I don't know. It just it 
still kind of it doesn't it doesn't it just doesn't feel right. I completely overkill safe. I'm never gonna open that. Never gonna. Op you know what? I'll take that back. I will open it once payday two is done. Open and there we go. But if it's like gonna get rid of it, then I'll just open it anyways. So yeah. Extra bonus. Um, disappointed with these DLCs uh, because I already own them. So <laughs> I don't know. Like if they give me the option here, if you want to make me happy, or if <laughs> I'd be much much more happy. I guess it make me. It would make me feel better instead of you know those being added to my library uh, instantly they should be added to my inventory so then I can give it to friends and then that's it because there's literally no point of having that extra bonus really like considering the fact for how like the completely overkill safe right it's or the completely overkill pack was during the hype train which was way a couple like not even a couple months ago like during the beginning of the year and you have all these sales during like this year and you like I don't I don't know it doesn't make me happy because I feel like this isn't even an extra bonus to me personally but who knows if it gets added to my inventory then that's fine so then I can give it to friends but yeah uh, skins yeah, they're all they're all right. I like these these two here. These ones are just eh. Um, I don't care about this because it's a flamethrower, and I absolutely hate flamethrowers. So, and if I get that, I'm selling that instantly. Not even joking. Uh, Dallas safe. Um, cool. Uh, I don't really care about that. And nice. So yeah, that's update ninety. Um. I'm betting a lot of people are going to be disappointed with this. I'm there's it just I'm sorry, Overkill. I'm just being honest. I'm pretty sure not a whole lot of people are going to be happy with this because you're right. So you're giving you're giving players who own the completely Overkill pack seven DLCs, but. The, the people who bought that DLC were mainly very hard, you know, dedicated fans. And I'm sure those dedicated fans already bought the DLCs before. So it's like, I don't know. It just, and I hope that doesn't crash my game now. But uh, adding Honey, the I Shrunk the Heisters, uh, the Lab Rats Heist. I said yes because I know a friend needed that heist still. So we're going to do it, but... It, to be honest, I feel like they should have. I I don't think Lab Rats should have stayed. To be honest, even though I said yes, so that I'm I'm basically being a hypocrite right here. But my honest opinion is I wish it was more of an event sort of thing. But who cares? Um, cool mask. I'm sure we'll get it in a couple weeks if players are still playing the game. You know, for the you know that. Um, which I'm sure if it's hold on reload yeah see it's not even so it'll probably be updated tomorrow um team boost <sighs> and i don't have opinions overkill safe never gonna i'm gonna open that in at the end of payday to be honest with you or just keep it forever because i'm it make it just i don't want to open a save like i've spent a lot of money on this safe right you know i spent a I spend good money on this safe and I just get a safe in one drill like I mean I guess that's I, I just I, I would okay I would have been more happy if this wasn't if this was different I don't care about this because you know it makes sense but eh. I don't care about that I don't I'm not even gonna read into the boring lore there to be honest with you. uh I don't know, I just don't want to read it. Uh Dallas safe, don't really care, don't care. 
It's changed log. So yeah, that's that's this video. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get back to working on trying to make uh, videos for you guys. Um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out some of the videos on the channel. Um, I do have a Twitter. Uh, if you want updates and just random things, I don't know why you would follow it, but I don't know. It's up to you. And let's see, uh, Titan Skulls. Um, we're starting to do more with, uh, starting to do uh, more stuff with that. If you guys want to go check that out. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so just check out some of my videos on the channel. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. And as always, have fun.